have um, balloons with the wow factor. Balloons with the wow factor, which is this class will show you how to make large, impressive sculptures. This is what we like to call giving the audience the wow factor. The instructors is Bad Boy Balloons, Baldy the Clown, and Philip Nanny. It's going to be in English. Okay. So let's, uh, guys, can, if, when we bring them on here, can you give them a big Q Corner welcome to the Q Corner Convention 2020? Here they are. Here we go. Let's get some audio from these guys. So this one's going to be a bit bit different as well hello guys you should be able to say something mm, we're not getting anything from these guys we're not yes. getting anything from them put them onto there and them they're not soloed out Doo -doo. hello hello they can hear us i think yeah, but there's nothing coming from through them. It's like they've been, it's like they're muted in their own stream. Because there's nothing no, coming. No. Ah! Yeah, I'm muted. <laughs> no, you yeah. muted yourselves! <laughs> you guys! Oh, why I order? He told, he told us to mute ourselves a few minutes ago. No, he said we were going to mute you. We were talking amongst ourselves. Uh, Don't worry. It was, right. just, it was just us. That's, uh, we thought you were pranking us there. <laughs> we're trying uh, okay so um this is going to be a bit different as well because we've got two people um teaching at the same time but from two locations okay so again we're pushing boundaries what's going to happen is why go not one side <laughs> why not let's let's go for it why not let's go crazy we're going to teach one size and uh then we're going to switch over to the other side as well so yes um the, I suppose the age-old question is, who's on first? Bobby wants What's to go first. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> i tell you what we're going to do is we're going to pass it over to you guys, and you guys can fight it out, all right? Uh, let's see who wins. Okay, here we go, guys. All right. Phil, I'm going on, Phil. Uh, looks like I'm... Go ahead. Whatever. Yeah. Go, 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 go. You, you're highlighted. Go. Cool. All right. I'm going. All right, guys. Um, what I wanted to show you guys first, um, me and Baldy kind of do things, and then we adapt them, and we work off each other, and things adapt. Uh, we It started out with this unicorn stick. So you're going to take a 260 white. Mouth inflated all the way, not mouth inflated. <laughs> I'm used to say that, guys. Um, I'm not giving these to anybody, so um, don't worry about it. So inflate them all the way. You're going to take two, two of them. Time together. You're going to do about a hands width, a little over a hands width. And you're going to take them and push them together. Just at the same time, make two ears with. And then you're going to line these up. One's a little bit longer, so I'm going to stretch one. So when you get them about the same length, you're going to spiral these. And what I like to do, guys, is uh, I know a lot of people do this. Um, I've never done it that way. If you can do that and do it tightly, awesome. If you can't, the way I do this is I hold my hands like this, and it's all thumbs and fingers, but I start slow. So I can get a nice, tight start, and then I can start going faster. I'm going to twist it down here. You want these to be fairly even. You should have a 
nice long spiral like that with two ear twists at the top. <clears throat> now you're going to take a five inch white round. You're going to inflate it about five, five or six fingers. It's a little bit bigger than a softball guy. Then you're going to wrap this into your ears. And I like to just position it like this. Now what you're going to do, and I'm going to use my Legenda, you're going to take a uh, purple 160 and a rose 160 and inflate them all the way. I like to stretch these because you're going to need the whole whole balloon. So I'm going to wrap this in. But when I wrap this in, let me get a little bit closer to this. I like to go higher. I like to go higher. So when I wrap it in, it's sitting in there nice and tight. Then you're going to come down the balloon. And depending, I can get about there, about halfway, <clears throat> and I can tell if I'm going to have enough. If, I if, I'm, if I don't have enough, I'm going to start wrapping tighter. If I know I'm going to have enough, I'll start wrapping a little bit looser. <laughs> that way you want to end here. So it's all in, uh, I got this. Ear, earbuds. earbuds. So you want to end just like that, guys. You don't have that. Yeah. You set that aside for a minute. We're going to grab the pink. You got 407 people watching. Well, I can hear you. I don't know if they can hear you. <laughs> You're going to stretch this one, too? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to wrap the nozzle in at the ears. And you're going to come around that other piece. I like to crisscross these a little bit to make sure they're locked in oh, real good. You don't have any problems when the kid's playing with it. So you should have that so far. You're going to take a dark purple 160 and inflate this two thirds of the way. You're not going to use it all. We're going to put two small bubbles in this. And we're going to wrap them like they're dog legs. Like that. We're going to take this dangly bit and feed it up into the crease and pull. And as you pull, that will make two pinch twists right there. You can wrap this around a couple times. You should have that. Now you're going to take your round. And when you do this, guys, I like to set it like this because you want to make sure that you're squeezing this evenly because if you don't, it's going to send your bubble off to the side and it's not going to look quite right. So you want to really want to get this centered like that. You're going to go around this crease. With your 160, twist it off, and then rotate these up into your pinch twist. 
I like it. I like to have it setting like that. <clears throat> I can spin this round. Spin it all down. Spin it all down so it all faces down. And you're gonna pull this to come up around and back into these pinch clips. I used to rent a kiosk at the mall and do balloons out of it, sell, sell kid stuff, just cool things that I could find. Mostly balloons, font candy, that, that sort of thing. Um, these were one of the most popular things. You're going to cut off your dangly bit. You should have that. You should have that. I think the camera's slower. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. I see myself up in this smaller screen better. Cool. All right. So once you have that, you're going to take a yellow 160. <clears throat> and place this uh, about halfway. You don't need the whole thing. You're going to go and split this like so. And I actually go a little bit further down because as you come up, this is going to push this up. But just like before, we're going to start nice and tight. Get a nice tight spiral. And right there where the nozzle meets, I'm going to twist that off. I'm going to tie it off. I can snap this off. Get rid of it. And I like to tie that too. Just, just for security reasons. Everybody hates when a kid runs back. But leave your nice long dangly bit. When a kid runs back, it says, my balloon came un uninflated. <laughs> so we're just going to wrap that in here, guys, at our ears, just like that. Hope you guys can see that. Um, the sharp yard is really easy. I'm going to do a big circle on this side. Not too big. But I'm going to do a circle on this side. Like that. And then what I like to do is I like to start here on the one side of the eye. Follow the eye. But when I get over here to the other side, I flick my marker like that. To make eyebrows. Just like that. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Things wrong. Catching on my desk. Follow the eye. Click. Just like that. Now the other thing I like to do is down at the bottom of the eye. I like to just flick my marker. So start here and go like that. Just flick a line. Do that on the other side. Like that. And then, if you want to, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, um, you can draw like a, a squiggle circle. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but I think it adds whimsy to it, it makes it more whimsical for nostrils. Like that. Hopefully, guys, you can see that. And that's the first unicorn stick. So, me and Baldy adapted this. Uh, I'll throw that one behind me. And we came up with this.
you're going to inflate a 350 white almost all the way. I'll leave about a two finger tail. You're going to give this a nice squeeze. And you're going to do two hands with loop twists. One. Two. Actually, I don't need these right now. Because I don't have to hear anybody. <clears throat> Just like that. You can give it a nice squeeze. Now you're going to take an 11 inch round. I blow it up hmm, probably eight inches, maybe. I guess if I had to guess, it's about two two hands width long. We're gonna wrap that in just like just like the other stick, right? Just like the other stick. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a purple chrome ooh, and a mauve chrome. And here's something I wanted to show you guys. Um, if you stop inflating this, I'm going to show you on the blue. See when I, when I, pick back up it bubbles it out i don't like that um i like everything that i do to look very clean um so when i do this i do it with a legenda because the uh they got to be inflated almost all the way and i don't want any weird bubble in it so i inflate it with my legenda I actually seen people in Capitol Convention using the hand pumps, and every time the hand pump picked back up, bubble, bubble, bubble. It just didn't look good to me. So we're going to take our moths and our purple and inflate them, even about a six or seven finger tail. You're not going to use it all. We're going to tie these together once twice three times the lady all right we're gonna wrap this into our ears so we're coming out the back side of the ears now like so we're gonna wrap these we're gonna spiral these together and also guys when I'm spiraling I'm also pushing on the balloon Pushes them together tighter. I'm going to go pretty far and then I'm going to kind of check it. Right about there is good. So I'm going to twist this off. I'm going to twist the bubble in one. I'm going to twist the bubble in the other one. Right where I made those twists, I'm going to twist them both together. Should have that. I fold this over. I grab both of these bubbles and pull up and twist. And it gives me two pinch twists at the same time. I'm going to snap this off. Snap this off. I'm going to tie these just for good measure. Cut these off. Cut off your dangly bits. We're going to go down here to the end and we're going to twist off about a three finger bubble. We're going to grab the other end. And we're going to twist that in. And then I'd just like to rotate this white bubble up and in between the pinch twist so it looks like that. All right, guys, you with me so far? Now we're going to take the blue and we're going to do 
two pinch twists, about two two finger pinch twists. Cut off your dangly bit. Should have that. Give it a nice squeeze and a stretch. And we're going to do the same thing to this round as we did to the other one. Just like that. We're going to come around this. Lock it back into our pinch twist. So turn this so you have that. We're going to pull this out and pull our hair in. We're going to come around the hair, around everything, and back in to those pinch twists. Come around here a couple times. I like to do three just to be safe. You can snap this off, tie it off. And I normally just tuck it up inside that loop twist, like so. You should have. All right, guys. Next, we're going to grab our gold chrome 260. Ooh, I'm going to inflate this a little over halfway. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. You're just going to fold it over and you're going to spiral twist that. Just like the other one, once I get here, I twist it off. <clears throat> I put it on the back of the, this one bubble and I wrap it into the ears. Once, twice, I put it to the back, the horn to the front, I snap this off. And I just wrap that in there a couple more times just for good measure. Give it a figure eight. You'll have that. And then the artwork's the same, guys. Actually, I lied because on this bigger one. I add highlights in the eyes. You do that. Do the other eye. And I've actually gotten parties just by doing this unicorn. I've actually had clients call me up because just like the Mog Brothers ice cream cone, this unicorn stick, when you see a little three-year-old girl running around with this big unicorn stick, it looks absolutely adorable. I put neoloon lights inside the head. It flashes at darker parties. I've actually gotten uh, people call me and say, will you do that unicorn when you come to the, the event? And I tell them, that uh that costs a little bit more than my normal rate so for the highlights i'm just going to do a big circle at the top of the eye like that and then then, then i do two smaller circles below it like that follow that up on the other side Like that, you have this amazingly big wow factor unicorn stick. How you doing over there, Baldy? Everything great. You can hear me?
You can hear me? Bode. Oh. Yeah. You can hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Oh, you got your earplugs on. All right, so I'm on. It's all you, man. All right, how's my eyebrows on Baldy? All right, so at this time right now, we're going to be teaching some amazing stuff. Philip, that was amazing. Uh, we're going to get down with some 350s. I'm all about 350s, 260s. You just apply it to the 350s. Um, so I'm gonna get started. Uh, we're gonna need, we're gonna make a nice train. Um, so we're gonna use five inch rounds. So we're gonna blow that up. Like Phil said, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna give these out. So you're gonna blow up a five inch round gray and we're gonna roll this and burp it a little bit and then we're gonna roll the knot. And if you don't know how to roll the knot, you're gonna take it and then roll that knot so you have the space here because we got enough. You must have saw, saw this a thousand times. Then you're going to take another five inch round or scrap. So it's totally up to you. And you're going to blow it maybe less than a golf ball. You're going to squeeze that like so. And then twist it. Okay? You, you can either push this up and then bring that down without time, but sometimes when this come undone, this flies out. So my recommendation is to tie this together like so. So you have this, okay? You're gonna squeeze up, right? You're gonna dip your hand in water, all right? And then you're just gonna push the knot straight down and grab it where the darkness at, right in the middle, right there, okay? All right, so you have this. Then twist it, right there, hold that knot. You're gonna get a scrap, a piece of scrap. A piece of scrap, you're gonna hold it. If you could do this, you hold it in between your two fingers. You gotta pull and then wrap it on the other side of that knot. Once, twice, three times. And then you're gonna take this and tie it to this broom here. So what I do is I just hold it and I just flick it through. And then grab it with my finger here and pull. And if you have to rest it on your chest, just rest it on your chest. All right? And then tie it again. All right, so you have this, all right? Now you're gonna get a 350 pale blue. You're gonna blow this up. You're gonna leave like five to six inch tail, maybe six inch tail. And usually I used to tool twist inside this and then it, it pops. Then I used to just tie there, but then it's too loose. So now what I do is I just make, uh, one inch bubble, pinch to it, and then a second one inch bubble, pinch to it. All right, so you have this. Much secure, secure this way. So now you're gonna take these uglies, Phil calls them dangly bits. Oh, wait, my eyebrows. All right, so you're gonna take, um, the ugly, and you're gonna wrap it around those two pinch twists. So that's nice and sturdy there. All right. And if you want to get rid of that, just snap it. All right. So you have this. So it makes it more sturdy. Then you're gonna take a four inch bubble from the five inch round to this intersection here is gonna be like four inches. 
we got to make a one double pinch twist. You want to bring this up. You're going to make a four. Now you're going to make seg segments of four inches. So four inches, one inches, two inches, and then vice versa. So do it four inch. About one inch bubble pinch twist. Then you're going to fire it off with a two inch bubble. Then a one inch bubble pinch twist. Then you're going to come back down with the two inch or four inch bubble. Wrap it around that pinch switch in the bottom. Like so. Then you're going to do a two inch bubble. Then you're going to follow it up with a one inch bubble pinch switch. Okay, then out of this right here, just gonna make a four inch bubble. Then we gotta tie another 350 to, the, to this to finish up the uh, back of the train. So you gotta blow it up, like I said, six inch tail. Tie it. All right. Now we're just gonna break this off a little bit. So take a small little bubble. Hold on to this piece right here because if you pop this, you don't want it just to go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Now you're just going to get a foreign bubble. I thought I lost it. Sorry. So you have this ugly piece right here, and you're going to tie this nice and tight. You're going to add up that 350 to here. Alright, so this is where it gets a little tricky, but simple. You're going to start off with a one inch bubble, pinch twist. Then we're going to go across to the next, right next door to here. We're going to make a two inch bubble. You're going to tie it, snap it around and pinch twist. Okay, now this is where it gets a little tricky because we're going to make the top of the train. So you're going to make a, a one-inch bubble, one-inch bubble, pinch twist. Then we're going to make the two-inch bubble, and we're going to attach it to here. Okay? So I'm going to try to go nice and slow. One-inch bubble. One-inch bubble. Another one-inch bubble. So you're going to make three consecutive one-inch bubbles. You're going to pinch twist the third bubble. Okay? Hold on to this. If you let this go, this is going to unravel. But if it does, you can get it back. Now, this is the top. Now we're going to go across. So now we're going to need that twin bubble. And see, this came undone, but we're going to get it back. We're going to come across to that. Right across, you see that? Like so. So it's gonna be face down. We're gonna get the top bubble back, so all we're gonna do is split that in half. So now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go right across the middle to the front bubble, okay? So you're gonna make two bubbles, one inch, one inch, and then attach it to the front pinch twist. Okay? Right there. So you're gonna go one, one. You're gonna hold on to this. You're gonna go across, okay? Then you're gonna go to this bump here, and you're gonna wrap it to complete the top. Alright, and then just stick that right like a big ass. See that? Then we're gonna make another two inch bubble to go across. Wrap it around that last pinch switch. And then we're gonna come back down. With a four inch bubble. Okay, 
got something like so. Straighten everything out. And while I'm just fixing it, straighten it out, and we got something like this. So this is the frame. Now this is a continuation if you're going to make the rest of the trains, but what I do is I just make a small little bubble. Or you can make a loop, all the way up to you. But I can show up with a small little bubble, and I break open. All right. Now you can get rid of your uglies or dangly bits, like my boy still be saying. But what I do is I just take this, I hold this, and I just wrap it around that crack posture. And tuck it away. So I have this. Okay? And I just make these go up and down. And this is the train structure. Alright? And now at this time you're gonna take a 260 black. You're gonna blow it up, leave four inch tail. Like so. Okay, you gotta tie that off. And we're gonna start off with a tulip twist. Okay, you're gonna take your finger and you're just gonna go halfway down, grab it, the knot, pull your finger out, twist that bubble, pull on to that knot. Then you're gonna take that knot and push it right back in there. All right, so you have this. Depends how tall you want. Dep all depends on how tall you want this. Is your option there? I like to keep it not higher than the the top of the train. So I just measure and I twist. I twist that into the two pistols. Okay. And then I'm gonna make a small little spacer bubble. Okay, then I'm gonna follow that off with a one inch bubble pinch twist. Okay. And then you got these pinch twists here, so I'm just gonna follow that down with a wrap. So whatever size bubble that is, it varies two inch, three inch, so I can't give you a measurement there because you just gotta use your judgment there. So you're gonna measure there, make sure it's straight. And then you're gonna measure there. And that's where you're gonna twist underneath that pinch twist. Okay, so you have that. Then you're gonna come down to the next pinch twist. Squeeze the balloon a little bit, come down to the next pinch twist. So whatever size, whatever length that is, that's the size of the bubble. You twist it there, and then you're gonna wrap it around that pinch twist. So, so you have like wheels, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Squeeze, measure, then you're going to twist. Okay. And when you twist, just don't yank the balloon. You want to you wanna twirl it. You want to twist it. Okay? Because balloons pop if you don't know how to use them. So just twist the balloons, you know, and, and it, will, it will glide right in there. So you squeeze the balloon and then you're gonna measure to that intersection here. Okay, like so. Then you're gonna make a one inch bubble. Because, all right, now this now you're gonna need another balloon. So what I would do is I will make the um the space bubble to go inside of uh, that picture. All right, so you're gonna take that and then wrap it, put your finger there and then I'm twisting. All right, and then I'm gonna break that off. Tie your balloon. Now 
Now we're just going to need one more black 260. All right. And we're going to tie the balloon. I think like a five inch tail. And we're just going to go across. So you're going to take it, wrap it on either side of the pencil, squeeze, and then we're just going to go across like that. Okay? Wrap around that pinch twist. We're going to come underneath. Underneath. Like so. And whatever size that bubble's coming from the, this pinch twist to the other. So that's a judgment call. And to keep this chimney straight up, we're just going to take this blow and go behind. So we're actually trapping it in between like so. So wrap it around that pinch twist. And for safe measurements, I do one more on the bottom. And then you break off the rest. All right, so you got something like this. And then this right here, I just open it up. And you have almost done. We just need a red 260. You're going to blow it up. Maybe leave like a four inch tail. All right. And you're going to wrap it to either side of the pinch switch. And then you're gonna make a maybe a one inch bubble. Then you're gonna follow this off with a big pinch twist, like maybe a two, maybe an inch and a half, maybe yeah, maybe an inch and a half, close to two inches, a big one, um, yeah, one and a half bubble pinch twist. You're gonna squeeze the balloon, and you're gonna do it by eye. You're gonna measure. This bubble is going to come all the way around to the other side of the pinch twist. You're going to twist that bubble. Then you're going to make the same exact one and a half inch bubble, two inch bubble pinch twist. And you're going to file that off with a one inch bubble. And you're going to wrap it around that pinch twist. You're gonna squeeze and stretch. And I don't come down um, into that pinch twist. What I do is I just go straight, nice and snug, nice and snug, right to the back of the pinch twist. And then that's what I twist it up. So you have this. So you actually see the wheel as well. Okay? Then you're gonna come back down, you're gonna squeeze, and you're gonna go right into that pinch twist. Not the red one, the black one. And all I do is um, pressure fit in it nice and snug right to that pinch. Point. Break up the rest. And straighten everything out. So you have your wheels and your chimney stack there. And now the face, I draw a, a simple face. All right, so what I do right now is I look for like the chunky side and all I do is twist it. All right. All right, so now what I do is I just make two lines and uh, upside down U. And then another upside down view. Then I'm gonna make a half moon, a half moon. Then I'm just gonna trace like this. And then I'm gonna make a bigger bottom view. I color this in.
like so. If you want to give them eyebrows, give them eyebrows. And if you want to cut it all that in with your eddings, you want to cut it, your eddings. I think I ran out. Uh, let me just trace that. Oh, I do have something. Like so. so you have something like that. Like that, and then you come on down. Yep, I'm running out of ink, guys. So sorry. All right, but you get the picture. I ran out of ink. All right, so I ran out of ink. Just don't hand them the balloon. Make sure you blow it off and then hand it to them. All right, so that's your quick. And this is done for line work too. This is pretty cool. You got your train. All right. All right, so at this time right now, I'm gonna teach you another design. I'm gonna put this to the side. And then after I finish with this design, then Phil comes back on. Um, so, we're gonna need a, a 646 yellow, all right? And we're gonna cut the end, just like so, okay? We're gonna cut that off. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it inside out. Like this. You're gonna turn it inside out like this, okay? Then you're going to get two 160 black, all right? And then you're going to put it nice and, you know, you're just going to bend it. You're not going to puff inflate it. You're just going to bring it down like that. Now with the, the nozzles, where you cut it at, you're going to take this and you're going to feed it right in there. Like so. Okay. You're gonna have this. Leave this sticking out a little bit. Now you're gonna use three fingers. I don't know how you tie the balloon, but this is how I do it, okay? So you're gonna have enough stretching balloons there. You're gonna take this, you're gonna wrap it around. I wrap it on three fingers and I'm pulling. And then I'm gonna take it and then just gonna. Uh, there you go. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to show you slowly. And I just roll it in there like this. And then I'm just gonna roll that knot nice and tight. All right, so you have something like that, okay? Then what you do is you go this inside out. And you have this, see that? And you're gonna blow. You're not gonna blow it from here. You're gonna hold your hand so all the when you blow it, the air will bypass your hand and fill up here first. And you have something like this. So he has actually hair coming out. See that? All right, so I think that's a, I think that's a good size right here. And you get here, tie that off. Press it down a little bit, and you have this, okay? Now, um, we're gonna finish off the face, so you're gonna need a clear, quick link, five inch round, and you're gonna need a scrap. But you can also use a five inch round black. But I, I just need, I don't have, I just need a little, like so, okay? All right. That might be a little too big, but let's try it. Then you're gonna take, uh, Let's see how this works. 
Look at that. If you had the castorator, that'd be perfect, but I don't have one. And you're gonna open that up, have somebody else put it in there, and I popped it. Sorry. I'm gonna show you again, just in case you missed it. I'm gonna show you again. All right, I'm gonna show you again. I know you missed it. All right, oh, get in there. Come on, you can do it. I'm a professional, I think. Don't embarrass me. All right, oh, get my fingers out of there. No, come on. Uh, ah, yes. If you have one of those things that open up the balloons, this is much easier, guys. All right, so you take this like this. Don't mouth inflate it because then all the, you're gonna have all the, the residue in there. So you're gonna need uh, maybe that much. So that the eyeball could be rolling in there. And this part right here, see how we stretch out? I want to tie that too. So you have something like this. Then you're gonna have a gray 260. You're gonna have a 160 gray. Gonna do with this one is you're gonna make two one inch bubble pencils. You're gonna get magic. Do you believe in magic? See, I told you I'm a magician. You guys don't believe me. No worries. And if you want to prep this up for your show, like if you know you're going to do a minion, if you want to prep this, you also have to prep it. I wonder why. There we go. Come back! What's wrong with these? Hold on! Sorry about that, guys. I'm, I'm not nervous, but... All right. I think I'm making the balloon too big. All right, here we go. Let's try that again. When you do distortions, you know, you're really taking, you're really getting these balloons, really abusing these balloons. There you go. Let's try that again. Right. Yeah, you're really using these balloons when you do distortions, so they will pop. All right, so we're here. Wrap it around our pinch wood. Like so. Then what we're going to do is, all we're going to do is go over to the next pinch twist. All right, twist off and make two more pinch twists. And you're going to come down here. And we're just going to come back over to the other side. And what I do is I go one more time, back and forth. Back down to the other side. All right. And I like to twist the pinch twist sideways. And usually I have enough to go to the other side. Like so. I think I do. Amazing. 
So stress this out. And if you don't, if you don't have enough, just pop it off and, and get another balloon. All right. So let's see if this fits. Show you a quick body because I know Phil has to go back on, and I didn't. And, all right, so you gotta take a 350. All right, I don't make the loop, I use a 260 for that. So you're gonna make a, just measure it off like this. Take that punch it, wrap it around, come back down, wrap it around. Usually my quick body is, I bring this down like this, I feed this through, and I bring it all the way down to the middle. But I like to add a 646 on the bottom. I'm going to do like a, a little flat weave. So one here. Twist. Come back. And then you're going to twist these two over. Just like this. Then I get a 646. A 646. I like to give a little character to this. All right. I'm going to make another spacer bubble. Then a one inch bubble pinch twist. Spacer bubble. Then a one inch bubble pinch twist. And I'm going to do the same thing, one inch bubble, then a one inch bubble pinch twist. All right. Then I'm going to attach the 646 on the bottom of that. You're going to squeeze. And you're going to go whatever distance that is. Just wrap it. Then squeeze and wrap it to the other side of the pistols. And what I like to do is I just take that and bring it to the other side. And you have this. That happens, balloon surgery. All right, so you have something like so. Kind of like the bottom to be three, and then what I do is just take this thingy bit and I feed it through all the way, and I grab it to the bottom and I yank it down. And you get a 350 black, okay? Then you tie it. Then you're gonna make uh, a 
squeeze it, and then you're going to make a one-inch bubble. Pinch twist. Then you're going to make a squeeze, and then you're going to make another one-inch bubble. Pinch twist. Just in case you missed that, get another 350. Just in case you missed it, I know, you, I know I'm going too fast. Is that I'm looking at the time. I need Phil to come back in here. All right, so one is, you know, we like this one, guys. One is bubble pinch twist, squeeze it. One is bubble pinch twist, squeeze. Make a flower petal. Squeeze, make another flower petal. There you go. All right, then grab that, um, that ugly piece right here, and then wrap it around like this. All right, just like so. And then we're gonna straighten everything out. See, I kind of like that chubby action there. Then I get a 260. I wrap this, I wrap this around. I come down like so. I'm gonna make this shoulder track. And what I do is I just trace the back of it, just like this, to the other side. And I just make a loop. Tie your balloon. So you have something like this. All right? So this gives it character, the 646. So the bigger the balloons, the more of the wow factor. Then you get a 260 yellow. And all I do is the speed just pull the shoulder strap, come to the back. Make it as long as you want. So you have something like this. Right. Split this open so that could tuck inside like so. And then for the hands, I keep it simple. 260, three quarters of the way. You're gonna make two pinch twists. Then a loop. Just like so. And then we're just gonna take this and wrap it around. That pinch twist, not the pinch twist, the little dangly bit, dangly bit, ugly, the ugly, do the same thing on the other side. I think you started late anyway. So, I think we got enough time. Let go to the rest. All right, you have this, and then wrap this around. And all I do is just give it, and that's it. All right. So I was gonna make a second part to this, and um, I could probably do it in four minutes. I'm just gonna make the head structure, and you're gonna use the same exact body. The only difference is you're gonna use instead of using this. You're going to use this. Okay? So I'm not going to teach the body all over again. I'm just going to show you this, this concept. So you're going to blow this up. And 
and you're going to garp it nice and soft. And the only difference is this one had a string coming down. What you got to do is you got to get a a 350 and tie it. You got to get a 350 and tie it and then bring it down. You can't because there's no string there unless you want to take a string. But this is more, it makes the body more fluffier and everything. So I like it. So at this time right now, you're going to get a five inch round. You're going to blow this up. You're going to get another black balloon, but this is like a different tech, you know, kind of off like so. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing we did with the, uh, the train. All right, we're gonna squeeze that up. We're gonna push that in, grab it, push it. Get a scrap, tie it, like so. So you have this, and you need you need a tell here because we actually got to push this through. We actually got to push this through. Okay. Then you're gonna get a two sixty. A 260 gray. Okay. You're gonna make a two inch bubble for one and a half level pinch twist. Squeeze. Alright, this is gonna go here. So you're just gonna measure all the way to the middle. Like this. Alright. Make another one is bubble pinch twist. Squeeze and then make the same side bubble coming around. The rest, and then tie it. And then you're gonna get uh, a black 260. Just to change the colors. Alright, and all you're gonna do is tie it. this in the middle, squeeze, wrap this around nice and tight, when you get to the middle here, so you're going to hold this in the middle, you're going to come here, measure the middle there, you're going to split the bubble, you're going to make a big one to a two inch bubble pencil, all right, make another one is bubble to a one is uh, two is bubble test. All right. Then you're gonna squeeze and then come all the way around to the other side, nice and tight. Take off the rest and then tie it. Open this up. Make a nice U. You're gonna take this and you're actually gonna feed this through the hole, grab it to the other side. Okay. Nice and tight, and then wrap it around that hole. So you have that. Alright, and all you're gonna do is open this up. And then these pinch twists, I'm going to tuck inside there just to cover those gaps. All right, so you have something like this, which is pretty cool. All right, and then if you want to add here, you can either draw or, you know, 
Or you could add something in the back to come over, maybe. Um, let's do the 160, 160 black. Blow it up, leave like a one inch tail. And maybe you want to put something like this. Come down to that pinch twist. Make sure this pinch twist is in the back. If you want it to be pushed forward. So that's the long one. Make that off. And one more. Same size as this one. Curl it. And you have this. Straighten it out, sorry. You have this, okay? Or you could just draw the lines, totally up to you. Then you would take this part right here, this part, and feed it through the body and replace that like that. All right? So I hope you enjoy that. I'm Baldy. How's my eyebrow? Um, I'm having a fantastic time. Um, hopefully Phil, Phil's still up, and then he could take over at this time. Pre inflated a bunch of stuff because I wanted to get this done in time and uh, Baldy had a few difficulties there. But what I'm going to do is about a hand and a thumb. Oh, so before I get going too fast, um, you're going to inflate this leaving about a four finger tail, 350 uh, rows. You're going to do a hand and a thumb. Do a, about a two finger pinch twist. Match that first bubble up. Push them together. Push your dangly bit through. Lock it. And now you're going to do two hands with bubble loop twist. Just like that. So you should have that. Do that a squeeze and a stretch there. We're going to use most of the rest of this. Um, you're going to take a 350 white. I like to do a slightly bigger loop twist. About a five finger, maybe four, four and a half. I'm going to put this here into the face, and I'm going to wrap that into my, my two loop twists on the side there, come around the back, and back to the front. So you should have that. We're going to come up here and make a few eyes, but I don't like to go as tall as the other bubble. So... We're going to go a little bit shorter. We're going to wrap this up into our pinch twist. We're going to come back down and we're going to match that eye. We're going to wrap that into our loop twist right there. <coughs> and you should have that. Very basic. You're going to come down here. I'm going to twist this off. I'm going to push this, this bigger bubble through. I'm going to take the white. I'm going to twist off a bubble about, the, about three finger bubble. Fold this over and I'm going to pull both of these bubbles and twist them at the same time. 
I wanted to do that before I let the air out of here. That way my pinch fist kind of holds it. I don't got much. I don't have much left in that bubble. So I just want to make sure I have something there to hold it. I'm going to wrap it around a few times and let it go. You can get rid of the rest of your white there. You don't need it. I'm going to wrap it around here. Tuck it back through the body. I'm actually going to tie this one because I do have enough there to tie it. Cut off your dangly bit. So, should have something that looks like that. All right. Now, you're going to take a 260 rose, and I inflated this, leaving about a three-finger tail. You're not going to put many twists in it at all. So give it a squeeze and a stretch. You're going to start this right here at the bottom of the eye. So we're going to take this and wrap the nozzle in. And we're going to come up the eyes here, but we're not going to go all the way up. About two-thirds of the way up that eye, we're going to twist off a bubble like that. You're going to do a hands with bubble followed by another hands with bubble and then you're going to do about a three finger bubble. You're going to wrap this here, here, and here. Just that. Get rid of my earbuds real quick. You're going to follow that back up. So you're going to follow that back up with another bubble this size. So a three finger bubble. Like that. Twist it off here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bubble that I just made and the one, the one just like it and I'm going to roll this. Like that. I'm going to do about a two finger spacer bubble. Come back up here into this pinch fist. And now that will all sit nice and flat against the side of my head. <clears throat> We're going to match that back up. So you're going to do a spacer bubble the same size. You're going to do a hands with bubble. Followed by a hands with bubble. Followed by a three finger bubble. You're going to lock that in. That looks a little bit too big. So, looks a little bit bigger. You want to make sure they look the same. Yeah, that looks better. We're going to lock this in here. We've got 10 minutes. You're going to do the same thing on this side, guys. You're going to twist off a three finger bubble and you're going to rotate these. Just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to match up this bubble here on the other side. So. Just kind of eyeball it. You can take the rest of this, snap it off, hold it here when you let the air out, and then wrap it down in just like so. So you should have that. Are you with me so far? All right. Next, we're going to take another 260 uh, rose, and you're going to inflate this, leaving about a five-finger tail. You're not going to use it all, and you're not putting but one twist in this. So we're going to start back here again, 
I'm going to put our nozzle end in. Wrap it in there. And we're going to come around. So around like that. Wherever it meets up here at the middle point, you're going to twist it off. Twist that into your top pinch twist. So you should be looking at that. Don't worry about this too much right now, guys, because I'm going to show you a really cool way to pull this all together in a second. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Pull it around. Just like that. And now, what I like to do is have the balloon coming out here on the chest area. And I like to take the rest of the balloon and feed it back up through here. Just like that. And when I get up here, I'm going to twist it off. But I twist it a little bit down into that. So I'm actually kind of down in there a little bit. I'm going to do a big, fat three-finger bubble and give that a pinch twist. Just like that. I'm going to snap off the rest of this. And then I'm going to tie this. So I'm going to go around my pinch twist. Tie this all off. And I'm going to cut off my dangly bit. So now you'll have this. Kind of flopping around there, guys. But don't worry about it. What you're going to do is grab down here. Pull down on it slightly. And then I like to position the pinch twist sideways. So when you're looking at it, it looks like this. So you guys with me so far? Anybody know what it is yet? I like to pull my eyes out a little bit. Just kind of pull them out that direction. Um... I knew I had a balloon inflated. You're going to take a 160 rose. What I like to do is I like to hold it up against here and I make a bubble the, the distance from this twist here to this twist here. So let me show you. So it's not very wide. It's about, about three fingers. I'm only going to do about three, a little over three fingers, guys. So leave yourself a nice long dangly bit on this end. Leave yourself a nice long dangly bit on this end. Tie this off. And I'm going to show you how I tie this off. When I snap it, i got five minutes. When I snap it, I hold it with my finger like that. I can go around my finger and just hold it. And I can hold that forever. I just tuck it under like that. And I pull it in the balloon off of my finger all at the same time. Like that. So I'm going to try to hurry up a little bit. We're going to tie this off. So now you're going to hold this here on your face. And you're going to take one long dangly bit. Go through these two bubbles. You're going to come around to the back. And you're going to wrap this in right here on the back side where that crease is. Wrap it around there a couple times. You're going to take this long dangly bit. You're going to do the same thing. Wrap it around into the upper crease there a couple times. Cut off the dangly bit. And 
that kind of pulls everything forward. So we're going to do that again. We're going to do a, another bubble the same size. Got this off. Get rid of it. You don't need it no more. And also, guys, I'm going to kind of go to the reverse on this side. I'm going to start at the top. I can find it. You can kind of pull these together. Don't use the balloon. Don't use the balloon to pull it together. Use your hand. That way you're not putting too much tension here on this twist. Because if you really yank on this, you're going to pop this. So go around it a couple times. Like that. I'm going to come down to this side. We're going to do the same thing. Can't see the comments, so I don't know if anybody guessed what it is yet. So you should have that. Kind of thing looks cute. Now you're going to take your 260 light pink. We're not going to use all of this. So inflate it two thirds of the way. But you're going to do a three finger bubble, followed by a three finger bubble. Twist them together like dog legs. Tuck your dangly bit through. Snap it off. Tie this off. Tie it twice for secure measure. Cut off your dangly bits. I'm not used to wearing one of these like baldy. It's kind of throwing me off. I'm used to reaching over here at my table. But I like to face the uglies, as Bodie would say, down. And then I just tuck it in here. Like that. I'm going to make another one of those. So three-finger bubble. Three-finger bubble. Put them together. Not just so you don't need it. Tie it twice for good measure. Once, twice, three times, lady. Ugly bits down. Roll it in here. Now we need some eyes. You're going to take a 160 black. You can use a scrap if you want. Um, you're going to tie this like Joe Mock showed you the other day. Just like that. You're going to do a second one. Just like that. What I like to do is snap this all out here. I like to put a little air back in it. Try not to lose my cap. Just like that. I like to move this bubble down. I like to tie this off. Uh. Just like that. So now you should have two pinch twists. My pinch twist is coming undone. Uh. All right, there we go. So you have two pinch twists and a bubble sticking off of it like that. What that does is you want to tie this off too where the air will move back down that uninflated. That will allow you to stick that bubble in between the eyes there. And it just kind of holds it in place like that. Like that. Last but not least, and I need one more. Rose, how much time I got? 
I thought I had all the balloons out I needed for this guy. Sorry. You know what? Uh, found it. <clears throat> so you're going to inflate this rose. 260, almost all the way. You're going to leave about a three-figure tail. We're going to do two loop twists. I'm one minute over. Two loop twists. You're going to twist those loop twists. And it's your pinch twist on the bottom here. Like so. You straighten all this out in a minute. You're going to loop this through your body. Like that. And then back over here. You don't have to get too technical. You want a loop. You don't want too big of a loop. But you want a loop going through there like that. Right? I like to make sure it's about centered. And then I start squishy, squishy, squishy. You're going to make them look like that. And then all you're going to do now is you're going to come up the side, feed it back through. Come to the front. You should have just enough here to give it a squish. Feed it back into your loop twist. Finish it off like that. Oh. So. You can add a tail back here on the pinch twist. I'm not going to right now, guys, because we got enough time, but all you need to do is just grab a scrap of whatever color you're using and make a quick tail. But there's my uh, big Super 350 cat. I'll put my earbuds back in. <laughs> all right, I ran three minutes over. Hey guys, hello, hello. Oh, I've they gone the audio off or something on their side? I'm not sure where the audio has gone. Can you hear us, gents? Hello? It's like it's not coming through the audio anymore. Uh oh. There oh, we go. There, there we go. go. Yeah, uh -oh. now you disappeared on us there for a moment. Well, there's some cool designs there between you two. Hey, Molly, how's my eyebrows? Hey, how's my dangly bits? <laughs> Great hey, job, guys. There's a lot of love there in the chat for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The bad boy balloons up and coming. Please, guys, again, show your appreciation for these two as they share those designs with you. They've spent their time free of charge to share with the community. So please, again, show some love and some appreciation on the Q Corner Convention. Uh, and me Thank and Baldy you. are lined up. Love well. you, guys. Look, see, with our tops. Did it... <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Hey, I got, yeah. I got a Mr. Q. Uh, We're in a line Q3. now. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us, guys. You're very welcome. All right, take care. Stay safe, guys. You too.